It's Vegan Recipes with Pat and Emily. Hi, today on It's Vegan, I'm going to show you an old world recipe that my grandmother from Germany taught my mother, who taught me how to make. It's called brown flour potatoes or potato shush spice. So for that, you're going to be browning the flour. I use it as a base for a lot of things. Later today, I'll be making a video for savory pie and also for pot pie soup, which will use this brown flour gravy. Okay, today's recipe, I'm making a double recipe of the brown flour gravy because I will be showing you how to do the brown flour potatoes or potato shush spice, and I'm saving half the sauce to make my savory pie. So, you will put six tablespoons of flour in a skillet. If I'm just making the brown flour potatoes, I would just do this in my saucepan, but for demonstration purposes, you'll be able to see it better here. My heat right now is on medium high, and you will have to start browning this and stirring it almost constantly. Once it starts changing colors, it, it just turns from being the right color to the wrong color. What I'm imitating is a roux, but I am not putting any fat, butter of any sort in here. I'm not doing oil because I try to use less oil. This is drying out the flour. It changes the flavor of the flour also. And you might be thinking, oh, normally you're gonna use one or two tablespoons a flour to thicken a cup of water, but for some reason, when you brown the flour, it doesn't thicken quite the same. It's just slightly starting to change colors, just slightly. If you want a lighter sauce, you wouldn't brown it as much. And I'm thinking that you could also brown flour and just have it ready to use, but I have never tried that. This process can take 10 minutes, so Emily will speed up the camera as needed. Okay, we're back. It's just starting to get tan in color, and I'm going to turn on my exhaust fan, so a part in the noise. But you'll want to do the same thing, or you might set off a smoke alarm. You'll notice it's now turning into a light tan color. I turned the heat down a tiny bit, and you have to keep stirring it. This is something you really have to just watch to see how to do it. So I hope you can see the flour is getting browner. Now at this point, if you wanted a very light sauce, you could actually stop, but I want a richer colored sauce. And I want to show you, sometimes I just lift it right off of the burner if I think it's going too quickly. And I'm going to turn it down the pad. I'm trying to avoid burning it. And it gets so close to burning sometimes. This is a heavy bottom skillet, so it will keep cooking even when I take it off the heat. Turning it up just a tad. You can smell, if you're making it home, you'll be able to smell it getting toasted. Okay, that's all the darker I want it. So for right now, I'm turning off the heat. I'm actually going to remove it from the heat to add the water. When you are adding this water, you don't want to add it real, real slowly. And I let the I let this all cool maybe a minute or two because you're going to see it's going to just splatter up. All right, you ready? Here we go. You just stir it the whole time you're adding that water. Don't stop. I'm making a double recipe, so I was using two cups of water. Do not return it to the heat until you have those lumps out of it. Oh, 
Okay, the lumps are out of it. I'm going to return it to the heat. And I just want it to get bubbly. Okay, I'm bringing this back up to a boil. And I have about two cups of sauce here. And what I'm adding to it is I'm adding salt, pepper, smoked paprika, and better than bouillon vegetable bouillon. That stuff is the best vegetable bouillon I have found. Although I do like Noor's cubes that are soft. So we'll just stir this in. Get a tasting spoon while you watch this heat up. Okay, I'm going to taste it and see if the seasoning's about right. It's a tiny bit salty, but I am cooking it with potatoes and I'm also cooking it with vegetables that have not been seasoned. So I believe that it's going to be just right. Now, so I can divide this in half since I do have another recipe I'm making. I'm pouring it into a measuring cup. Here's my three cups of cubed potatoes. I leave the peel on them. I think that you're getting a whole food that way, but you can always take them off. So I want to get about one cup of this. That's, oh, that's one cup, wow. And now these potatoes are going to cook in this sauce. I'm also going to be adding some onion. This was about a half a cup. Some people like to brown the onion with the flour, but when you're not using any fat, you really can't do it that way. And you, as you can see, it's pretty thick. There's not a lot of sauce, but there will be water coming off of the potatoes. And when you go to serve it, if you wanted a little more sauce, you could always add some water. So this is going to come back up to a boil for the brown flour potatoes or potato shish spice. They will be ready in about 30 minutes. Okay, we're back. I put our brown flour potatoes in a nice serving bowl. And when you are serving them, if you want them a little thinner, you can always add water at this point. Tonight I'm serving it with green beans and two oat patties. Now for the taste test. It's really hot. Mmm, perfect. It's so hot, I can hardly talk. Try it, you're gonna like it. Keep watching for the camera bloopers. Tell me when you're ready. I'm still filming. You're still filming. That's wonderful. <laughs>